this entire project, I guess, would go back two years with Bruce Broughton, composer, and also Jeannie Poole, our producer, and Ron Royer from Toronto, who's another one of the producers, and also conducted several of the orchestral works that we recorded back in June. But we had talked with Jeannie to see if she had any ideas as to what would be the best platform going forward to really give me some exposure and also to, to make something that's very interesting and that uh, people would uh, really take note of. This project is called Premieres, and the reason for that is because this is actually my debut CD. Well, I would still consider this the early stages of my career in the sense that I've been building up a grassroots performance career. I've been playing a lot of concerts, and you know, every time I perform at a concert, whether or not it's with a solo with orchestra, in chamber music, or even in recitals, a lot of people ask me, so, can I have a CD of yours? A lot of times we record for fun, we record also for posterity, but I, I wanted to really have a big project that could incorporate uh, new music, uh, can really show off uh, what I could do, uh, and also promote the works of great, excellent composers like Bruce, like Ron Royer, like Kevin Lau, and this was the forum to do it. The different pieces on this album all represent new music, but they also, I think, uh, have a lot of uh, uniqueness that are sort of signatures of uh, their respective composers. One of the focal points of this project is Bruce Broughton's Triptych. It's written for violin and chamber orchestra, and it's based around three incongruities, which basically mean it's spread into three movements. The Gold Rush songs, as an accompaniment to the larger work, is for violin and piano. And this is based off of some of the songs that might have been heard during the Gold Rush days in the 1800s uh, in America. So for the Ron Royer pieces, we have a nice eclectic mix. The large piece here is the Rhapsody, and this is with full orchestra. It was very fun to put together. There was harp and there were a lot of different aspects that I could play with having a full orchestra behind me. And it's very much uh, like Gypsy and uh, gets really into the string, play, playing Pizzante, which means getting really gritty and uh, showing the salt of the earth kind of playing. But at the same time, it also is very rhapsodic, which is why it's called Rhapsody. So uh, it allows me to be very improvisational, play around with a lot of rhythm and rubatos. That's something that really appealed to me. The Cerban and Capriccio are kind of uh, two brother and sister pieces. They're written in a neo-baroque style, and so this also matches that first movement of Bruce's triptych. The Capriccio is, again, sort of a take on a little bit of Latin rhythm and a little bit of playful dance-like caprice, but at the same time written in a neo-baroque style, so it's a very interesting mix, a very interesting fusion. The Serband is more traditional uh, Serband, um, three, four meter kind of piece, uh, and it has uh, some very beautiful melodies that interplay with a harpsichord that we found uh, for this recording. This will sort of give you a sense of that Baroque feel, but at the same time also for a contemporary writing style. Kevin Lau was an associate of mine who I had played in his Sneak Peek Orchestra and one of his pieces, Joy, was something that I had really taken to and had a, a few opportunities to perform live and it really worked well in concerts. So that was another thing that we thought would be an excellent piece to show my playing. When we thought about a nice sort of encore that could round out this entire CD, we sort of figured, what, what do I really like to play? And in a lot of recitals that I've been giving, um, an encore that is highly requested and always well-loved is Chopin's C-sharp Nocturne, as arranged by Nathan Milstein. This is a piece that has a lot of poignance to it, a lot of subtlety, and a lot of beauty to it, and I enjoy playing it. My name is Conrad Chow. Thanks for watching this video and I really look forward to your hearing uh, our wonderful CD project premieres.